Uh, it sucks to lose, obviously, especially to Salt Lake. Um, but I thought there was moments that the team put in a good performance. Um, and I was really happy to see uh, Abe get the start and perform well. Uh, even though he conceded one, I think it's a tough goal. Um, but he played really well, so I'm happy for him. Ali, Brendan Fun for the Denver Post. Uh, you know, Cole and Abe both mentioned that U17 team, and Cole kind of said, you know, I was hoping that the guys from the team would come up and make the uh, impact earlier than, you know, the last game of the season kind of thing. But for you, um, you know, considering your journey after the, the leg injury, just what did kind of tonight mean for you and just being out there at the same time as the, so many of the, the guys from that U17 team? Yeah, it means a lot being out there with them. Um, you know, those are those are the boys coming through academy days. Um, so it's always nice when when you get to play out there with them and, and kind of have fun with it. Because I think when you play with those people, there's a connection and a feeling of, you know, chemistry and, you know, like you're really just enjoying the game. Um, and for me personally, I, it's nice to be back out there. Obviously, going forward and even in this season, I would have liked to have more of an impact on on this team, um, and I think I could have done that. But that's a part of the experience, and that's part of being a pro, is uh, fighting your way through that, and then when you get the opportunity, try and take it. Ollie, what's one way you're a better player than you were? I think your last appearance was coming on for Jack, maybe two years ago, if I remember correctly. What's one way you're a better player today than you were that night? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, I think I've just been forced to learn how to manage games a little bit better in terms of what it needs when um, when you're a young guy, it's it's always about like being good technically or making the right decision on the ball, not turning it over. But as I've grown a bit, I've learned that it, it's all right sometimes to, to maybe just play a ball in behind or to just clear your lines or whatever it is. So I think part of that is just playing games and learning what situation uh, requires what solution? So just making better decisions, hopefully. Hi, Ali. Uh, Keith Richards, uh, Team MBS Media. Um, given the huge success that you had with R2 this season and then getting to play with the first team and some significant minutes tonight, kind of what are your goals in going into the offseason or what do you think you can improve on to maybe get more first team opportunities? Uh, yeah, my uh, my goals are to keep working and not really let off so that I don't have to pick up from a lower point and just pick up where I left off from. Um, and as far as next year goes, uh, we'll see what, what's planned and I'll just work my hardest to, to reach the highest level I can. Ali, um, you know, Chris Little has obviously been here since 2021 and, you know, he comes from a development player background um since taking over it seems like he uh is the interim he's obviously had a big impact on kind of everybody at the at the club um what has he meant for you uh over the last couple of years and um for, for the homegrowns who are kind of coming up and uh making their way into the ranks yeah i think everyone's appreciative of him um people that work hard are always appreciative and uh, and he works extremely hard. So I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, if you have somebody that's always around that is is going to put in 100% and you know that they're invested completely, it, it gives a sense of uh, unity in the fact that, like, you know, if, if someone's willing to do that, then they're going to be there for you. So I think that's what he's brought to the table. Ollie, what have Connor or some of the other veteran players been like for mentoring you um, so far this year? You know, Cole, other player, young players have spoken about what the veterans have contributed for their development. Yeah, I didn't get to know Connor super well um, until kind of the second half of the year. Just I wasn't really involved with the first team, and um, I think he was just kind of, you know, finding his way around here. Um, but then, obviously, watching him, I really liked his game, and I, I think he was our best player all season. Um, so I took a lot from just learning how he plays and 
and seeing the level that he does it. And uh, then we grew closer kind of off the field. Um, so he's helped me for sure, just kind of dealing with whatever we faced and, you know, talking about our two games or first team games and, and all that. So, uh, yeah, he's been helpful and, and a good time. Ali, you know, um, it, reflecting on 2023, um, you obviously had the, the strong season with R2, um, MVP finalist, which probably was a huge honor, of course. Um, just what has this year meant for you um, from kind of like, you know, just getting back into the groove and then what are you most looking forward to in 2024? Yeah, this year's meant a lot. Um, at the start of the year, there was a lot of doubt in my mind. Um, coming back from a year-long injury, there's a lot that I needed to prove. And, you know, it felt like it was kind of one of those years where if I didn't take it, it might be a slower path back to where I wanted to be. Um, but luckily, I had a good team around me and good coaches and, and people that cared. And... Um, and I was able to, to produce the way I wanted to. So at the end of the day, I'm very happy with it. Um, but I still think that there's a lot more. Hopefully I can make a jump from my performances this year into next year, how I did from the previous into this past year. Um, so yeah, I think it's just keeping that mentality of always proving yourself and always knowing that you can be better regardless of where you get. Ollie, as a homegrown, you've seen the fan base kind of fluctuate, ebb and flow with support shown throughout the years. Obviously, this was a, a disappointing one, um, especially given some of the results seen at home this year. Uh, but what's kind of your your thoughts on um, how the fan base has supported us through through tough times, through good, through good times, what you've seen just throughout the years in this community and this club? Yeah, I mean, obviously being from here, I've watched the game since I was super young. And there's been tough years, no doubt. Um, but regardless of that, I think people are really excited to to see the players play and, and to see this club get back on track because there is a sense of pride and you can feel that, especially as a homegrown. I mean, you look at the way that people react to, to each and every homegrown and you can tell that they have a they have a special place in their heart for, for those types of players. So I think if we can give back, that would be the best thing. You know, I want that more than anything. I wanted, when I was washing up there, I wanted us to win. And now that I'm a part of the team, that's, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what soccer is all about. You know, you're, you're doing it for the entertainment of fans and you're doing it so that you can win. And it is a community. And I think that we're building that year by year and it's going to get stronger and, the way that we make that better is by winning. So I think that's a priority next year. Ollie, last one. What would you like to see, either philosophy or approach to the game from you know the next head coach? I think it depends on the squad that we have. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like as far as next year. Um, for me personally, I think that a uh, an attacking style of play is very intriguing you know i think everyone wants to watch that and and the more entertaining it is the better um the difficult thing is sometimes that comes at the expense of results and i just said that winning matters the most so having a having a system where you can can get both would be optimal but at the end of the day if if you can't do both then it's the results that matter